Hello friends, it's Prajul Patek this side and watching my YouTube channel Pai Guru. Friends, this is the sixth tutorial in this series file in link Python. In the last tutorial, we learned how can we delete files and folders using Python and also we learned how can we safely delete files so that they can uh, send, can be sent to recycle bin, okay? Uh, moving further, in this tutorial, we are going to learn how can we compress and decompress files and folders using Python. So there are a few topics that uh, we'll be discussing throughout this video. Uh, these are how can you compress files using zip file module? How can you compress a folder using zip file module? How can we extract a zip file using zip file? And how can we extract zip file information using the zip file module? Finally, then we uh, will also be discussing a simpler way to compress and decompress files and folders using the certain module. Okay. So without wasting without wasting any time, let's get started. So the first thing that we are going to learn is how can we compress files using zip file, okay? Now, uh, for this we are going to use a module that is zip file module. Now, uh, using zip file uh, module may be a little uh, difficult for you. So by the end of this tutorial, I will be discussing a simpler way that is a subtle module to compress and decompress files and folders using Python, okay? So stick to the video through the end, okay? So the first thing is how can you compress files using zip file. So for this I am going to import uh, from zip file uh, this is our module and from this we are going to import a class that is zip files class. Okay, let's just import it and okay. Uh, the next thing is the file that we want to compress. See here I have a file here uh, one dot jpg basically it's an image and I want to compress it. So uh, see here the my the file that I am currently working is this one compress underscore decompress dot py. So the file that I want to compress is this one dot jpg. What are in the same folder? So I do not need the full path. I can simply pass the file name. But if the file is in some other folder, what you have to do? You have to just select the file and copy its path from here. Okay, something like this. But if it's in the same folder, you do not need the full path. Uh, so what I'm going to do? I'm just going to type file equals one dot jpg. Okay, so this is the file that I want to compress. So how to compress? It's very easy. F equals zip file. This is our class that we just imported, and here we have to pass um, the uh, the archive name by which we want to save our zip file. So I'll simply type archive dot zip. Okay, you can give it a name. And we have to open it in uh, mode. There are two modes allowed in zip file. That is the read mode and write mode. So I'm just going to open it in write mode because we want to create uh, the zip file. Similarly, we learned uh, how can we read and write text file. Uh, this is similar to that. Okay, so we are opening it in W mode. Uh, now, if you have opened some file, you have to also close it. So I'm just going to close it. Something like this. And here inside it, you have to simply type f dot write and your file name. So if I just run this program. And you will see uh, my file will now get compressed here. I have my file is compressed archive.zip. And if I open it, there will be uh, here the image inside it. Okay, so this is the image. Now, the next thing that uh, let's say I have these three images that I want to compress. What you can do, you can simply apply a for loop. Okay, for i in range 1, 4. Uh, basically, uh, since my names are simpler one two three uh, uh, that's why i'm using a for loop uh, uh, range otherwise if you have uh, some different names you can just put all the names in a list and then apply a for loop on it okay so let me just tab it and here uh, what i have to do uh, i'm just going to use the f strings i dot jpg okay so let me just run this program now and it will compress all the three files into this archive so yep it's uh, yep, uh, it has successfully compressed one, two, three, uh, all these three files into the archive.zip uh, file. Okay, so this is how you can compress files using the zip file module. The next thing is how can you compress folders of complete folder uh, using the zip file module? So, for this, what you have to do, we will just we are just going to remove this thing and we do not need this thing too. Uh, basically, for this, we are going to use. Uh, another module that is the OS module. Now we have already discussed about the OS module in the previous tutorials. The thing that I am going to do is I am going to compress this my sample folder 
it has several files in it and I want to compress all of this uh, and save it by the name archive.zip okay I remember zip file only compresses uh, only support the zip type okay so I'm just going to compress the sample folder uh, and save it by the name archive.zip so how can we do it uh, it's very easy what we have to do we have to first create a variable folder and in this we are just going to save the path of the folder that we want to compress so i'm just going to copy path from here okay after selecting the sample folder and then i'm just going to paste it the next thing that we have to do is we have to replace all the backward slashes with forward slash okay so let me just replace backward slash with forward slash now the next thing that we have to do is we have to walk th through this folder now we have already discussed how to walk through the folder uh, for this we have to do something like this for root dirs which is directories and then files in os dot walk and here you have to pass the folder name which you want to walk basically we are just going to list all the files of this particular folder so what if i just do this uh, let's say for file in files print file you will see it will simply print uh, the name of the all the files that are inside the sample folder okay uh, these are all the files and see it has successfully printed all the names of the files which are currently in this particular folder now the root uh, let me just show you print root and it will simply uh, print the root of the uh, file uh, sorry main folder okay uh, the location of the main folder so what i'm going to do I'm just going to compress using these two things root and files file uh, this dis variable uh, stores all the you know, path of directories since we have no directories in it so dirs will be simply empty okay uh, yep so the next thing that we are going to do is we are just going to compress it so how to do this uh, let me just close chrome otherwise it will eat up my ram okay Fine. so actually it's very easy we are just going to do this thing uh, let me just remove this line instead of printing we are just going to type this f dot write ok and here we are going to use another thing os dot path dot join ok and here we have to pass two things root and file basically what we are going to do we are just going to take this thing uh, and this is the folder name and this is the file name we are just going to join it and then uh, pass to f dot write ok the part dot join take two things the folder name and the file name and then join them uh, which means concatenate them and then it passes it to the f dot write so basically uh, all the files uh, like this will get concatenated and added to f dot write and the uh, gif will be created so let me just run this program and you will see uh, uh, outside this uh, in the archive now all my files will be oops sorry see here uh, yep so here all the things have been compressed uh, so yep this is it this is how you can uh, zip a complete file I guess I have did something wrong here let me just put this thing sample ok if I just do this and run now and again open it yep so this time it's uh, fine uh, just uh, instead of passing the full path just pass the folder name which you want to compress okay something like this simple and then your uh, this is the name by which you want to save the file so this is how you can compress the entire folder using the zip file module now the next thing that we are going to learn is how can we extract uh, zip file using uh, zip file okay so for this we do not need all this uh, our file that you want to compress uh, let me remove this line too so this is our third topic how to extract the zip using zip file see here the zip that we have created is archive.zip so i'm just going to extract it so this all will be same uh, zip file archive.zip instead of opening it in write mode we are going to open it in read mode because we want to extract it and we do not want to create a new one so it's very easy you can simply apply uh, f dot extract all and it will extract all the files uh, inside it and save it okay uh, sorry it will extract all the files in it so let's just do this and let's see 
see here uh, wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute uh, let me just uh, rename this so that uh, sample original okay uh, and let me just again run the same program uh, so that this time you will understand it so see here this time is successfully uh, extracted our original folder name was sample dot original and the file that we just extracted is this one sample okay so this is how you can extract for uh, uh, zip file using a zip file module the next thing that we are going to learn is how can we extract zip information using zip module so for this what we have to do uh, we have to keep all these things and here we are going to use a for loop for file in f dot info list okay and we are just going to pass it something like this and then we are just going to print file uh, dot file name uh, it will print the name of all the file that are in, inside the, uh, this archive.zip that we have created uh, it will simply print the name of all the things that are inside this archive.zip okay so sample slash uh, sky uh, cipher.py these are all the files that we have recently compressed so this is printing just the name okay now suppose we want to uh, get the compress, uh, compression size of the file uh, the size of the file after compression we can simply do this file dot compress size okay and let's put it in bytes and here i will simply put a print function so we get a new line so if i just run this you will see uh, the first thing that will be printed is uh, the name of the file and then the size of the file after compression if you want the original size you can do this print file dot uh, file size which will give us the original size again this will be in bytes so we will just we're going to use the bytes uh, yep so the first one is the size after compression and the second one is the original size okay uh, basically what it does uh, the you will only get difference if you have large files uh, for smaller files what compression and original files are original file size are same okay this is generally not very much compression now suppose if you want to uh, get the date uh, at which it was compressed so you can just do this file dot uh, i guess date time i think yes so if I just run this, I will get a tuple of dates at which it was compressed. So let it get printed. Yep. So this is the date at which it uh, was compressed or I guess created. Okay. This is the date at which it was created instead of compressed. So this is how you can do this. Uh, now this is a tuple. If you want to com uh, convert it into a readable date, what you can do is you can import another thing here from date time uh, import date time and here we can simply uh, do this date time and just uh, unpack it and pass and it will print a readable uh, date i guess if everything was fine yep so now it print readable date 14th january 2021 is date on which uh, this sample uh, sky cipher.py file was created okay so this is how you can extract uh, zip information using zip file so this is the first way we can compress and decompress files using the zip file module. The second way is a quicker way and here we are just going to use the subtle module to compress and decompress zip files. Uh, the subtle support few more file types like tar, ggtar and bztar. Okay, so we can use them too. So I do not need this. I also do not need this. I am just going to clear all this. And simply I am just going to import the subtle module here. Here, uh, let me just delete this file. The first thing that uh, I want to do is, uh, we are just going to create an archive. So, how to do is, subtle uh, dot make archive. Uh, before that, let's create a, a folder variable which will store the path of the folder that we want to compress. So, I want to delete, let me delete this. I am just going to copy uh, its path from here and paste it here and we have to replace all the backward slash with forward slash sorry 
and let's just replace it all so this is the folder that we want to compress so subtle dot make archive takes three things first the name by which you want to save your zip file so i want to save it right let's say archive dot archive simply let's say archive and then the type uh, in which you want to compress there are four types of uh, supported types that is zip tar vz tar and gz tar oops sorry G is it tar? So you can uh, pass any of these types. So I am just going to use uh, compress it in zip format, okay? And then you have to pass the folder which you want to compress. So I'll just pass something like this. Now uh, this variable, and now if I run this program, it should compress our folder. Yep. So it has successfully uh, compressed uh, our sample original, and this is the archive dot zip, okay? So it has successfully compressed it. Now to uh, extract it uh, again uh, once more. Uh, this is a zip format. If you want to compress it in tar format, you can pass tar here. You can pass bg tar here. Something like this. So uh, see, uh, this is a archive format uh, which is tar format, and this is a zip format. So zip format compresses more, while tar format uh, compresses less. Okay. So you can pass these two values too to see, see the same. Okay. Uh, the next thing is how can we extract uh, the zip file that we have just created so for this uh, we have to do this let me just comment this down and subtle dot subtle dot uh, unpack archive I guess okay it takes two things the file which you want to compress and the folder where you want to compress it so uh, I am go just going to create a, a folder by the name extracted okay uh, so it takes two things the first is the name of the file that you want to uh, com decompress so i want to decompress let's say archive.zip okay we have created two files the first one is the tar and the second one is the zip so i want to decompress this zip file and where to uh, where do i want to uh, decompress it uh, this extracted folder okay if uh, the folder is in the same folder you can simply pass it name if it is in some other folder you can just copy its path from here and then paste here so if i just do this and run this you will see uh, the file will be extracted successfully inside this extracted folder so this is how you can use the setting module to compress and decompress files okay so you can use whatever uh, module you want i have told you the both uh, so yes this is it for this video guys if you love this video leave a like or a dislike if you are new to my channel subscribe it thank you see you in the next video